Hello everyone, welcome to Homemade Collectibles channel. Today we're going to review a custom item that is a really cool piece, a new custom figure that is available on our eBay store. The link is in the description below. This is the Ion Dragon Posable Origami Authentic Figure from the Legacy of Monsters Monarch TV show that came out last year. So this is the first time that this figure has officially, or not um, officially, but that has been made in a custom form that is available for sale. This is our take on that creature. And so this is gonna be a video review of that item. But first, before we take a look at the figure, we're gonna take show you the card back that it's gonna be packaged in. And if you want to see what that looks like with the figure, there is a link below to check out the listing. So just here's a little card back. The name of the kaiju monster, a little artistic um, picture of the creature. Um, and then the figure will be packaged here in the back. It just lets you know that it's a collectible figure, not a toy that is articulated. And yeah, so. This is a really cool creature, has never been, um, I don't think there's any official figures of this um, kaiju yet, but this is um, one and it's available for an affordable price, really cheap, um, great price for it. And um, so, yeah, let's take a look at the details first. So you can see the head sculpt there is really cool and it's really awesome working on getting the head sculpt. Oops. Sorry about that. Really do like the head um, of this creature, so, and we tried to capture that from the film or the TV show. Then you get the neck over here, which is really cool. Then the arms, with those uh, really cool arms, and then the wings here, which it does have a flying mode, so it does have a flying. Um, pose you can work it on and we'll show that later on the video let's turn the figure around a little bit show you the back side of it here you can see the top of the head hold on my camera's not picking that up top of the head right there you can see those horns too the back and then the really cool tail with that awesome um, end piece to it put the camera on because I'm holding it on a tripod stand so let me get the camera situated. This figure does feature posability. Um, no accessories but it is posable but we'll want to um, show all sides of the figure. So this is what it looks like on the front shot. This is the other shot of the figure and then back shot here just kind of rotating it showing you oops sorry about that what it looks like through all ends and um so yeah no no accessories but it does include um it, it is posable so you can pose the jaw up and down and you also take a look at the inside of the mouth it is painted blue and the teeth right there really cool teeth it's got really um really cool looking teeth in the show so we tried to capture that in the best way possible with the budget and also love this uh this is actually a separate piece to have a little bit of those gums sticking out so i think we did a really good job capturing it because because it's kind of like a bat obviously it's like a bat rat creature so i think we captured it pretty well i mean if you take a look at it you can kind of see the influence of this design of being a rat a bat um, certain critters and all that so i think we did a really good job capturing that the arms are really detailed as well you can see the claws right there it has long claws we did our best to look at images design concept art and also one of the most challenging parts of this was actually giving it some color. We did not want to make this just a basic gray color. So 
we try to give it the uh, you know a little bit of color because it also kind of sells the figure more if it's a different color but also not to make it also try to make it more accurate and you can see the bottom here it's got this nice orange and then it's got a nice chest piece here the feet are also really uh, detailed it's got that armor scales that it has in some parts of its body the claws right there same thing on the arms there's like some armor pieces or armor uh, decos here scales and all that it's got a little bit of hair piece on the top because there are certain images where this figure has like small hair pieces in the back so we kind of capture that and it's got a spike over here which you can see the detail right there and then the tail has that armor um, scale all over the top of it and then it's got these spikes here and then the tail on the end which is really cool so again with the articulation you can move the jaw up and down the arms you can swing uh, forward and back rotate it and then there's also a articulation joint here so you can actually bend um, there you go bend the uh, elbow section same thing on the other side wait wait, wait. my can it's way too close and so you can rotate those arms 360 and then it's got a joint right here the body piece here has three joints so you can make the creature look up like this or you can have the figure crouch down and have them in all fours you just gotta pose those arms around and you can have them standing in all fours so you can uh, I think it's best if I move the arms out of the way you can crouch that crouch it up so you can have some options to display your figure you kind of curves up like this so really amazing the legs have two points you can swivel the legs forward and back you can't really move them outwards but you can but it's not intentional it's just for a forward and back motion and then it has a joint on the knee like that same thing same uh, thing on the other side you can swivel those legs and then there's a joint on the knee now the tail has a uh, joint where you can actually rotate the tail 360 and you just have to kind of push it in so you can have him posed with the tail curve like this and it would look kind of you know it would look natural not look like it's out of place and you're not forcing it because there is a joint so you can swivel that tail and then it's got one, two, three segmented joints. So it actually curve up that tail pretty smoothly, organically. So, and then over here, there is a bendy wire, but it doesn't go too far, but it is a bendy wire on this spot and also here. So you can actually bend and rotate that because it's on a bendy wire and it'll stay, see? So that is the point of movement for this really awesome action figure origami. Now, I did mention earlier, it does have a flight mode and this was kind of tricky to get down um, in terms of the price point we want to make sure this isn't a good price point because it does take a lot of hard work to make these items it's not easy to make it um, we have to have really good casts color selections good materials is really important we don't want these are not paper notebook um, items these are authentic 
um, paper, plastic, origami pieces that you can buy for an affordable price. So it was really challenging to get that wing, um, the flight mode, because this thing does fly a lot in the show. So to do that, it's really easy. Um, first, I would like to just crouch the stomach piece. And you don't have to do it, but it just, for me, I think it gets a little bit more situated. So just crouch the stomach and you don't have to do it, but you know, for the flight mode, um, have the figure facing you. Now there are these two black dots and these are tabs and you're basically going to um, rotate the arms up like this. Make sure that the shoulders are facing your direction and you're going to then clip this into the black tab and it's going to stay like that. You can push it down. It's not going to break or anything. Come to the where the hands are and there is going to be the other side is this tip which is actually the wing piece so it's usually when it's on the land mode um, it's just going to stick out in the back but you're going to push it forward and then there is this tab over here this black dot and this black dot this one's a little bit difficult to see but you're just going to insert the tab there and then you're going to fold it so that it's secure. Do the same thing on the other side. Take this tab. Uh, push this in. And you want to take your time off this. I'm just going to basically do it off camera because this video is already past 10 minutes. tricky today there we go so I got it tabbed in and then you just fold the paper plastic piece like that and that is basically the iron dragon in its flight mode you can that's why I crouch the stomach forward because it makes it look like it's better and you can have the iron dragon flying towards Godzilla or any other monster you want have you know you can pose the creature and then I just disconnected it but it's easy you just tab it in like that and that is the flight mode and you can actually pose your iron dragon just fold that tail down just the legs out and you can actually have it posed on that flight mode with the wings spread out before it takes off to battle its enemies. So that is the review. And just to undo the wing mode, just unclip this, unclip those wings, fold the wing piece down. Same thing on the other side. Fold it and just get those arms situated and you're back to beast mode on land. So this is the review of the Iron Dragon Origami Custom Official Action Figure. It is available for an affordable price. Check out the link below. It really helps with the purchase of one of our homemade products because then we get to make more, make them better, improve the engineering and this is evidence of evidence of that. If you like what you see, comment down below. Share this video with your friends and family. Let us know what kinds of content you want to see. Um, yeah, just give a comment down what you think of this figure. If you want to see more, if which one you would like to see made and make a purchase of one today, it really helps a lot. Thank you again for watching and have a good day.